Hello and welcome back to my kitchen here in Donegal and today I'm going to make a nice sandwich for you using some sourdough, some mackerel, this is some peppered mackerel from Atlantic Treasures. We're going to heat that up slightly in a minute or two but I have to pickle some cucumber and I'm very lucky because I got my hands on some homegrown cucumber and don't be afraid of food that's odd shapes and not uniform because that is them good quality food. So what we will need to do is just top and tail our cucumber. And you'll notice as well that they're sort of a bit firmer inside, which is what you're after. But before I show you how to peel the cucumber, we're gonna make a pickle, very, very simple little pickle. And it's using some mustard seeds. And the thing with mustard seeds is, I have already done this, but you can take a spoon and just kind of break them slightly because what you're doing is you're just sort of opening them up and you're releasing a little bit of flavor that's in there. And that's probably enough at this stage. I'm just going to pop those into a preserving jar and to that we're going to add some sugar and this is just normal caster sugar and some white wine vinegar straight into that and we're only going to shake that about a little bit until the sugar dissolves in that and that will happen quite quickly you see a little bit of grit which is what you're after going on in there and all I'm going to do then as that continues to happen like that is take a bit of fresh dill and purely dill and cucumber is just amazing. So you're getting that nice aniseedy sort of flavor. So some fresh picked dill. Now we'll take a little bit more and we'll just rip it slightly. We'll open this up. We can either chop this or just rip it and drop it in. And that's all I intend to do with that. Now that smells beautiful. There's a sweetness, remember, coming from the sugar. And there's a nice sourness and bitterness that's gonna come directly from the vinegar, the white wine vinegar. So now back to our cucumber and just take um, your typical vegetable peeler. This is how I like to do it. And we'll just remove the peeling on that initially. And what we're going to do is we're going to add nice big strips like that of the cucumber. There we go. Now that's going to be beautiful in the whole way through as much as you can. And we're literally just going to drop that into that beautiful pickle. And you can do as much of this as you want. And Maybe I'd recommend even that you just take double the recipe that I'm using of pickle because this will keep in your fridge and actually it's really, really nice when it's cold. But that's all we'll need just to show you the purpose of this recipe. We're going to close the lid and we're going to give that a shake. Make sure that's all got within the cucumber. And we're going to leave that to the side. Now you want to leave that for at least about 15 minutes or so. And don't throw these out because they're fantastic for a good gin and tonic or something with cucumber. So what we will do is we'll take our mackerel and this is the mixed peppercorn mackerel from um, Killy Beggs. Just put it onto parchment paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that just in under the grill or into a warm oven just to warm that up. And that'll only take a couple of minutes. And you'll notice that slightly off to my side um, I have been toasting some sourdough bread. Naturally, you can put that into the toaster, but a nice dry pan for me works equally as well. I've never seen as many people stabbing their hand at sourdough and having a go, so it's up to you where you get it. I'm gonna drizzle it with some of the Donegal rapeseed oil, turn off the heat, and I'm just gonna let that sit there, and it's gonna stay nice and warm while I'm waiting on the mackerel. And then to the bread, I'm literally going to add some creme fraiche directly into that. So we'll give this another, what, 12, 13 minutes just to soak in the beautiful flavor. We'll wait in our mackerel and we'll show you how to assemble this. Now, I'm more than happy with that. As I say, that's just to warm that up slightly and it's nice with the warm toasted bread. So we'll let that sit to the side. And as for our sourdough, we're gonna spread that with a bit of creme fraiche. Now, sometimes I would put some dill into that but it doesn't need it because it's already in our dressing and really as much of that as you want it's entirely up to you so we're going to serve this on a board and it's a beautiful light supper lunch i've even seen this done for breakfast and i've done it myself where it's quite nice so there's the creme fraiche on and we're going to take some of our mackerel now you can put it on in a whole slice but I'm a big fan of just breaking up so that you take bites and chunks off this lovely sandwich. We'll peel the skin back on that. 
always keep this again because it's a lovely sort of stock. And I think I have enough going on there at the moment. So remember there's nice natural, both smoked and peppered flavor going on here. Well, hence why I have not seasoned this too much and the dressing is pulling in, or the pickle is pulling in some beautiful flavor that is coming from the mustard seeds. So we'll open that up and we'll get out our beautiful cucumbers, which are gonna be lovely and refreshing. And the more you chill these, the better, because they're, they're beautiful when they're done cold. And I wouldn't get too caught up in spending too long dressing that too much. You'll enjoy the nice freshness of both the cucumber and the pickle that we're serving with it. Any good sandwich should have a pickle on it, it's what makes a sandwich. I'm going to take some of particularly the mustard seed and just drizzle a little bit over it. And what I would do is serve that alongside it. Take some fresh dough, put a little sprig of it just on top, like so. And honestly, I don't think it gets any simpler than that, but I can assure you. That is absolutely beautiful, and that is my very, very simple open sourdough sandwich with my peppered mackerel and my pickled cucumber. Enjoy.